You, you mentioned you picked up a bit of a flair when you go over to Europe and you get different experiences. Do you think that now Emma Hayes is the head coach of the U.S. women's national team, that that played a factor in her moving to Europe and this European mindset? Yes, possibly. I think, um, you know, you gain a new perspective on a new style and, um, you know, just you grow as an individual, uh, not only as a footballer, but you're forced in to be in a new culture with new food and, you know, a new environment and new people. Obviously, she's speaking the same language, so that makes it a little bit easier. But, you know, you're forced to grow up there and in a new in a new place and I think that she's gonna be playing with some of the best players in the world and so you can only gain experience and and talent by doing that and then the game is different there the style is different you have more time on the ball um, so it'll be interesting to see you know um, her kind of take the pedal or the foot off the gas a little bit and and have more of a technical aspect to, and tactical aspect of the game and maybe um, gain a little bit of um, intelligence in the sense of vision and and you know feeling of of how different styles can really help you grow um, and kind of just make you a better footballer in general. And obviously, Emma M. Hayes isn't coming to the U.S. until the summer. She's going to finish out the season with Chelsea. No doubt she'll be watching all the NWSL matches. But now, Alexis, she's going to have the chance to watch some of these players up close and personal in the WSL as she finishes out her time with Chelsea, which makes a big impact as well on their future. Yeah, I mean, look, anytime uh, if a player wants to get back on the scene or at least in the conversation, you want to show up and show off. But you also want to be at the top level competition and to show that you can take NWSL, which for me looking on the outside looking in, you guys can correct me, but for me looking from the outside looking in, it feels like the NWSL values athleticism more than playing just straight football. Whereas in Europe, you're not going to go there and just run past people. You have mm. to play the game. You have mm. to be able to play within your position, play play around the game itself, play within the tactics, mm. not just, hey, let's get, let's get past them. Let's sometimes just be b bigger, faster, stronger. And to me, to be able to show that, especially as a defender, to say, like, no, I'm going to take my game to a place that's more technical. I'm going to take, I'm going to take my game to a place where you're watched a little bit closer, mm -hmm. the way you touch your ball, your first touch, this and that, passes. You, the other players are expecting you to make the passes exact, not put it in within a range and I'll go chase it. To, to do that, I think, shows a lot. Shows a lot of courage and I think is, is what we want to see. My question is, NWSL also provides a high level of competition week in and week out that I don't think Europe does yeah. every single week. Mm -hmm. So does that change the type of player you are? Does that make you a little bit slower to make some of those decisions? That's you, a big question. Do you think that's, that is the case? Do you agree with that, Ali, that NWSL week in, week out is a higher standard than maybe over in England or, or, or some of the other European leagues? Yeah, I do. I mean, I think we have the most athletic, you know, league in the world. We, that's, you know, why we've been so successful is because we could just athletically beat other teams in other countries. Um, but, uh, you know, I do think she will always have that. Uh, her, you know, characteristics as a player, she is going to always have that speed and that agility and that, di you know, dynamic um, way about her and characteristics. So I do think going over and kind of tidying up the technical aspect and, and really learning a new style of football is going to only add to it. Mm -hmm. So, yes, for, for some players, that would be difficult. I think you would need to stay in an environment where you're consistently, you know, challenged to run up and down the field and be super athletic. But with Emma's new, you know, style and the transition of her coming in with this European mentality. Uh, maybe, you know, her going, Emily going to Arsenal and really gaining that experience is going to benefit her more it, now within the type of style that the U.S. will will see. Hopefully, it, with Emma. If you were going to start your career again, say you're Emily Fox or, or 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 a player that's kind of on the fringes of the U.S. Women's National Team, and you're in a position where you could stay in the NWSL, but you also have offers from Europe, what would you do? I would 100% go to Europe. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And yeah. the probably isn't happy about that I said that, but that is where I was at the time because, unfortunately, we didn't have a league. Um, but I gained so, so much confidence there and knowledge, and I was forced to become the woman and player that I ended up being. And uh, if I didn't take that risk, I would have never landed, you know, my dream job of playing on the national team. Look at you and, and so, these baggy kids. I mean. It's a low bump. Low bump. There it is. <laughs> Look at Low her. Business. Um, I probably could have had one or two, you know, less Hefeweizens uh, <laughs> <laughs> there. But, no, I gained so much experience. And I, I put myself in a situation.
situation where players were so much better than me mm. and I was so uncomfortable. I remember being a prince yelling at me every day, being like, pass me, like you said, pass yeah. me the ball, and, you know, to my back foot, not, you know, out of bounds. And uh, there were moments there that I really, you know, uh, got upset about that, but I knew that she knew I could, um, you know, she could demand a lot because I had the potential to be great. And so gaining that experience there and being forced to play with players who are better than you. Um, that was an incredible experience, and so I do think this is going to benefit her tremendously. Is there a difference in the way players are treated, like as professionals, so to speak? Is there maybe a league, is it the U.S., or is it out internationally where you're treated maybe more kid gloves, or you're expected to be way more on your P's and Q's, be professional? I think the difference there is that football is the number one sport. Mm -hmm. And so in, in the U.S., we're, you know, fourth, fifth down on the list, unfortunately, which I think one day we will be one and two. Um, but until then, uh, I, I, yeah, I would feel that overseas is just a little bit. We would always have to wear the same, you know, the same dress and, very and outfits and very professional and everything was kind of laid out for us. And, and here we're still kind of, you know, fighting through, uh, you know, the accommodations and maybe, um, you know, facility, uh, I guess, um, standards yeah. and, and, you know, little bits and pieces that are obviously ironing out now that we're 11 years in. But, um, you know, that model that they have there is, is definitely very professional. It's not better or worse. It's just different. Mm -hmm. It's crazy to see how far even Europe have come as well in the last five, six years. I mean, even the, the stadiums that they're selling out, the Emirates, they sold yeah. out Wembley, Stamford Bridge before as well. Uh, it, when we just did our team of the season, we only had two NWSL players in there as well, Darian. Does, does that speak to, to the comparison between Europe and the NWSL in some ways? I think it does because, like Ali was saying, I probably played my worst when I went and played in France, but I grew the most because you're right, you have a lot more time on the ball and you, it's more of a chess match. You have to make decisions. It's, you know, it's like cat and mouse, whoever is on the ball, you are trying to constantly like play a little bit more of a mind game where NWSL, it's a little bit more like the collegiate system. It's direct, it's mm -hmm. transitional, it's hyper athletic. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's why we picked mostly European players on our best 11 because you see more multi-dimensional players that kind of have all of that in their arsenal, which I think, hey, Emily Fox going to Arsenal yeah. is a great move. She's going to add that in. But just adding a little bit more layers to your game, you already have the speed, the athleticism, the physicality, and then putting in the technical, the really, really tight technical aspects and tactical game that I think Emma Hayes is really looking for. Mm -hmm. is going to be great for the U.S. players going overseas and then why we picked mostly Europeans in our best 11. Do is, we ever get a world where the NWSL has that level of tactical, uh, you know, ability? I think so, with all the coaches coming over now. Mm -hmm, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. You continue to hire the European coaches with that style, um, you know, and the ability to kind of change the mentality of our league mm -hmm. um, to play more football rather than just a kick and run game. It's, it's going to be exciting. Do you like Emma Hayes for the U.S. Women's National Team job? Do you think she's going to bring a different look? Because even in the past, I, I, I remember it was the narrative was it stay in the NWSL and let the teammates kind of play with each other, play against each other, and you get this cohesion. It seems like that has changed now. Do you think it's going to be a new look for the U.S. Women's National Team, and was she the best person, do you think, for the job? I do think so, and I think that she's going to hold everyone accountable, and she's yeah. going to demand a lot. And if you're not going to be able to get the job done, she's going to find somebody who will. And so I think she's going to be kind of like a no BS type coach, yeah. Yeah. and she's won all the things, and she understands how to implement you know, um, her style, and, and get the personnel to fit that style. And we have, you know, the best players in the world in our country. And so there's no way, um, you know, there's no doubt that I, I don't think she's going to be, you know, like successful. I think she's going to implement right away and it's going to be a great change and, and a good adjustment. Um, now the players just have to be willing to, to apply it yeah. to the game and do the work. <laughs>